And right now we're checking out live Doppler 2X and dry weather has returned to the region. We were tracking some showers that moved down to Champaign County, uh, drifting across uh, Franklin County, and as you can see, in a weakening mode as they continue to track eastward. So any chances for rain for the rest of tonight? Pretty slim. Can't rule out an isolated shower or thunderstorm popping up. A little better chance of some of that activity again tomorrow and primarily as we head towards the afternoon. Earlier today, 87 the high, 71 the low this morning, with a record high, almost the 100 degree mark. Back Back in 1949, the record low, 1972. And still a muggy night out there. 72 degrees, a southwest wind at 7. Our dew points in the 60s, 82% the relative humidity. And uh, 19 hundredths of an inch of rain, as always saw today at Dayton International Airport. But some of the heavier totals, well, actually one emailed in by one of our viewers up in Christiansburg. Uh, and up there, we were looking at uh, rainfall totals reported 1.3 inches by Paul Schroeder uh, sending that email in tonight. And as far as the other numbers around the region tonight, most areas under an inch and generally about a half to three quarters of an inch in most locations. John King of Tip City, eight tenths of an inch. And as we take a look at Brookville, eight tenths of an inch reported there by Jason Thompson. Same around Kettering. And then only three tenths of an inch, uh, Jonathan Marker over there in the Eaton area. Tonight, our weather checkers, 70s up north, low to mid 70s there. Lowell Miller in Greenville at 73. And as we check out Trotwood, uh, uh, Pat Lee can there looking get a temperature of 73 degrees and down towards Centerville, a 72 degree reading tonight reported by Greg Shower, and he had some nice rain earlier in the day as well. Low to mid 70s tonight covering much of the area, so we won't see those temperatures drop off too much more as we stay in this warm, humid air mass with temperatures finally cooling off as you head into the upper Great Lakes. The real relief from the humidity, it's all the way up in central Wisconsin, so it'll be a while before that gets down here. We'll still be looking at a muggy day tomorrow, but by the time we get to Wednesday, some of that less humid air will will start to push in from the north. There have been some thunderstorms up in eastern Iowa. Those are weakening tonight. Once again tomorrow, activity expected to flare up along this front with the best chance from about the Dayton area and points on southward. So once again, a sticky air mass to the south with that lower humidity air working in from the north. Our cool front slowly making its way across the state as we go through the day tomorrow. And then finally, the front south of us for Tuesday night and into Wednesday. And then high pressure builds in, bringing us some pretty nice, typical August weather as we head towards the middle part of the week. Our forecast tonight, just a slight chance of any showers or thunderstorms redeveloping. Muggy overnight, only heading down about 70 degrees, so another one of those sticky nights with the high humidity. And 84 tomorrow for the afternoon high, a warm, humid day, and scattered showers and thunderstorms, again, the most likely time heading into the afternoon. Your hour-by-hour -hour forecast, 71 at 8 o'clock, up to 76 at 10. Closing in on 80 at noon, and then partly sunny skies with readings into the low to mid-80s during the afternoon alone with that chance for some rain. And if we would see some additional rain develop later tonight and tomorrow and you're away from the TV set, WDTN.com. It's always waiting for you right there with live Doppler 2X and numerous forecast graphics, the latest forecast as well. And Wednesday and Thursday, there's that less humid air. Not bad at all. Low to mid-80s Wednesday and Thursday. Nighttime low 60 to 65. More humidity Friday and just about time we get to the weekend. At least a slight chance for some.